guys? Welcome back to my bar. Hi, how are you doing? How's your week been? Did you miss me? Because I miss you so much. Did you enjoy your white Russian and or hair lighter last week? Today we're making a martini. My dad's making a snack plate. Cheers. That looks delicious. Let me tell you about martinis. There's so many ways that you can have a martini. You can do a gin martini, you can do a vodka martini. You can do either of those dirty, which means with olive juice. So a wet martini has more vermouth, a dry martini has less vermouth. You can also have a martini up, which means in a martini glass, no ice, or you can have it on the rocks, which means it's in a rocks glass with ice. You can have it shaken or stirred. I personally don't shake my martinis because I don't want to bruise the spirit, which basically just means I don't want it to be cloudy, I want it to be clear. You can customize them really a bajillion ways. Some people put pickle juice in them. Some people, I've had those, made, made those, a lot of those at my last restaurant. Um, there are people that are fed over. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna make today a classic gin martini. With, oh yeah, the other thing that you'll, so if you're ordering a martini at a restaurant, people are asking you like, what you want. Like if you just say, can I have a martini? They're gonna have a lot of questions for you. So first, it's probably gonna be vodka or gin. We're picking gin. They're probably gonna say olives or a twist, which means olives or a lemon peel. I'm gonna go olives. Um, some people like little baby onions. In yeah, some people like onions in them. That seems crazy and disgusting to me personally. It's delicious. But to be completely transparent, I, I don't like martinis ever. I think they're all gross. No. <laughs> the best way though is up and dirty. The best in way. And gin. Yeah. You always pick gin over vodka because at least there's flavor. Or a best word where it's half and half, mm. and if you add a blue cheese um, olive. Mm. Blue cheese stuff all over. It sounds like that the old James Bond movies a lie because he always asks for a chicken on third and it's always a clear drink when it mm -hmm. <laughs> I make my, if I'm making you a gin martini and you don't specify if you want it dry or wet, I make it dry, meaning I put less vermouth in it. Because most people yeah. don't really like vermouth that much. Lots of times, like if you say that you want it like really, really dry, I would just rinse the glass with it and then dump it out. But for most, like a standard gin martini, I do about a bar spoon and that's it. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients and then I'm gonna make it the first time I'm gonna eat that after. Yeah, have you seen the meme that's like the reason that millennials are all obsessed with charcuterie is because we all grew up eating Lunchables? <laughs> Let me show you the ingredients. We're using northern hair gin. We are using some dry, dry vermouth. I'm using olives. And my dad likes his martinis dirty, as I just learned. So in fact, I'm not gonna make you a classic gin martini, I'm gonna make you a dirty gin martini. What makes it dirty? All of juice. We're gonna start with two ounces of gin. We're going for a bar spoon of dry vermouth. Wait, how do you feel about that uh, bar spoon? <laughs> I hate that bar spoon. <laughs> and then we're gonna go for about a quarter of an ounce of all of juice. I'm gonna dump this out. So now we have a very crispy, cold martini glass. Then we're gonna garnish with some olives. And that's it. That oh, is that our is dirty gin martini. Now my dad's gonna come do a taste test. No, I want Jamie to taste this. Okay, Jamie's gonna come do a taste test. It does smell spicy, doesn't it? Why does it? These are imported Spanish clean martini olives. Marinated with vermouth. That is interesting. <laughs> so I ordered a gin martini one time when I was in New York, so I was trying to be sophisticated, and then I had to embarrassingly ask for a glass with ice and soda water. You realized you weren't sophisticated. I'm not. <laughs> and it was like, because I was in New York, it was a bucket. Like, it oh, was yeah, the no, biggest yeah. martini you've ever yeah, seen in your yeah, life. Yeah, and yeah. I was like, this uh, is try it. this. I just learned that I am, in fact, not James Bond. <laughs> I don't hate it, but I would never order it. There was an episode of Three's Company, a show back in the late 70s or 80s. The landlord, Mr. Furley, was trying to be sophisticated at the Regal Beagle and he ordered scotch. Mm -hmm. He took one sip mm -hmm. and he asked for the dad root beer mm -hmm. and whipped cream. Yeah. So there you go. That's fair. I'm on board with that. Let's see if this is actually good. We'll find out right now. <laughs> oh, your dad's gonna love it. Perfect. Yeah. It's really good gin, actually. 
the best. Northern hair from it's from, it's from uh, Grand Prairie. Yeah, Florida. it's fantastic. <laughs> Here you go. Shout out Northern Hair. <laughs> Shout out to Northern Hair. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and click the bell to turn on notifications. We post new videos every Friday at happy hour. If you want to see more shit from me, you can click the links down below. Buy my cocktail book, buy my poetry book. If you make a beautiful, dirty gin martini or any other martini, please tag me on Instagram at Attack York or use the hashtag Yorks Cocktails. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next Friday at happy hour. Please drink responsibly. Bye!